Howdy, 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 my beautiful Scorpio. How are y'all doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today we're going to get into your weekly tarot reading, Scorpio, for August 2022. So if you enjoy this tarot reading, Scorpio, let me know in the comments below. I love keeping up with y'all. All right. Today in your tarot reading, Scorpio, your first row that we're going to be getting into is we're going to be talking about the person that's on your mind right now, darling. All right. And then in your second row today, Scorpio, we'll be talking about uh, what you need to hear right now. You know, some the Direct guidance from spirit or just messages that you need to uh, have an understanding of. And then in your third row today, to, uh, Scorpio, I'll get into some predictions that I see for y'all uh, coming. Should you continue down the same path following in where the uh, energy is taking you currently, Scorpio, I'll be able to make some predictions for you today. All right, darling. So let's get right into this weekly tarot reading for you, Scorpio. All right. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe if you want to support this channel for free. I always appreciate those that take that extra step. Let's get into this with this queen of cups this is technically your energy here uh scorpio all right i feel like for you at this time i feel like someone you're going to notice uh scorpio people wanting to assist you i get this sense of like people looking at you scorpio with like a tender heart at this time i won't be surprised if someone like offers to like buy you a coffee all right uh scorpio or perhaps the sense of um if you get into like negotiations i feel like people will um give you a better deal than they normally would for others all right so this would be like the time maybe you've been considering getting a car uh scorpio this would also be a very opportune time to uh connect to people that you would like to uh connect with and maybe get some insight from them this is a time to get good with your boss all right but the queen of cups energy i also want to point out the queen of cups she's always called the queen of cups but she never has a cup around her now in this deck it's a singing bowl actually but in other decks in the normal rider weight scorpio she, it's the uh, she's holding a trophy uh keeping her eye on the prize because she's always focusing in on that and so i feel really for you scorpios like this is a week of where you're going to get into further alignment and get make a lot of progress towards um, objectives that you have, goals that you have in mind right now through the assistance of other people. People are going to help you get through the door, open doors for you, Scorpio. So start asking yourself who you need to start putting a little bit more effort in communicating with at this time. All right. So we'll put this Queen of Cups right there because it's going to be influencing all these rows here, Scorpio. All right. Let's get into your first row for the person that's on your mind right now. Could be tonic romantic or what have you scorpio all right and also be sure to check out your summon rising as well as your venus sign scorpio don't just check out your one zodiac sign when you're getting tarot readings on youtube all right so knight of cups ten and eight of pentacles here all right and this is for the person that's on your mind all right so i initially like this energy here scorpio i feel like the path that you and this person are on is on this path of progression stability here all right when you think about this eight of pentacles especially scorpio this eight of pentacles talks about um being uh studious learning uh trying to learn and trying to consistently uh take themselves to the next level all right and so when you see this eight of pentacles scorpio i see this person starting to put in the effort of wanting to progress things here all right knight of cups energy coming in here this is someone that's wanting to offer the cup to you i feel like this is someone that wants to further develop things with you here all right that's like their true intent anyways ten of pentacles that's that stable you see it's like that golden retriever darling it's that stereotypical like the perfect family life right have the kids have the dog darling right is you have it all and so that's why i see the potential for you two in the sense of where um, this is like a really solid connection here all right i don't have any complaints for the person that's on your mind right now all right this is their true intentions now as humans are uh scorpio as we all understand humans complicate things all right emotions get in the way um you know anxieties mental issues and what have you that's where things can get cloudy and complicate things so let's see what the problem is you're all right so i'm assuming that there might be a problem or some obstacle here scorpio that's why that's this person's on your mind currently if there's not a problem then this may not even apply to you scorpio all right so clarifying these cards for the person on your mind today scorpio interesting you have here the king of cups 
the Fool energy as well as the Devil. I'm using the Necronomicon tarot deck, by the way, if you're someone's interested about the artwork. All right. So I say this is interesting, Scorpio, because it seems like the problem, very blatant as well with this Devil, the problem seems to be emotional availability. Now, the problem seems to be maturity. All right. It seems to be Scorpio that y'all might function on different love languages. Y'all are the way you express yourselves are just very different here. All right. But I see like the main problem being just like the sense of maturity. I feel like for some of you Scorpios, this is someone that especially if this is someone that's been part of your life for a long time now, I feel like y'all met each other during a time of where like they at the very least grew a lot you could have grown as well you know i don't know but at the very least i feel like you've inhibited a lot of growth for this person throughout the time that you spent with them scorpio and i feel like this person like while they have grown i feel like they're still treating this connection with you as if like this was like 10 years ago or like at the beginning I don't know. I get like this sense, Scorpio, of where you have to like take care of this energy. And I feel like that's what's exhausting to you here. I do feel like the intent of this person, they need, they want to work on this here, obviously, because there is this desire towards you. But that's the problem. All right. The potential's there. The emotions are there. But it's more so up to them, Scorpio, of like emotionally maturing or like the ball is in their court. All right. I feel as if for you, full energy, like once they're able to own that energy once they're able to take control of that situation and no, not that's no longer being the drama uh scorpio then i feel really good about this then i feel like you guys could have a fresh start but it does require for this person to take accountability here unfortunately scorpio all right so there's nothing you can personally do i feel like this row seems to be just like affirming to you scorpio of like what their true intents are uh, some of you guys might have a better understanding of like maybe if this connection is worth it or not all right i can't tell you something's worth it or not for you because this is just a general tarot reading scorpio you know y'all know your life's better and you know it's going to be different for all of you guys so that's what i see for you guys uh for that scorpio for the person that's on your mind all right darling so now let's get into what y'all need to hear right now scorpio okay and keep in mind with this queen of cups here as well the queen of cups i know we're about to i just want to finish this up real quick but the queen of cups complements this energy in the sense of where it's just like i feel like you can trust them all right but it's just like you have to be aware of the fact that they have more to develop all right so it's one of those things that do you want like is it worth being um uh potentially a casualty in this person's growth right <laughs> for them to grow all right so getting for what you need to hear right now scorpio anyways you have this page of wands with this eight of wands as well and this two of swords here mm, i like this scorpio i like this for you i think what you need to be ready to hear right now scorpio is that Y'all need to accept the path, uh, the fact that your path, <laughs> your path is about to be changing here. All right. This two of swords, I always say this is like the crossroads where it's just like you have to either lead with your heart or lead with your mind. All right. I feel like for some of you Scorpios, you have been ignoring this for a while. I feel like you've been ignoring or trying to delay the inevitable with some situation in your life because change is destined growth is happening for you eight of wands that's that quick success darling that's that fab it's just it's a really fabulous card movement is happening you're evolving you're growing scorpio thunder is happening right now too and so i feel like it's time like it's time for you to really accept scorpio that you're outgrowing certain situations you're time it's time for you to go into a new path step into a new journey here scorpio what's been holding you back here why have you you know is this a sense for you scorpio where you want to just play it safe right is the idea of where it's just like you just want to be in this comfortable zone for a while now like you wanted to just have that resting period or is this something that you're personally doubting what is the blockage here like what is the problem queen of wands naturally darling naturally two queens here you know queen of wands queen of cups you know queen of wands here i say naturally here because the queen of wands is someone that leaves the nest with their passion not with anybody besides their familiar their spiritual guide their spirit guide to their spiritual team all right y'all are this is like a journey that y'all are destined to have like this is where y'all are leaving the nest essentially here 
you go out on your own it's time for you to uh scorpio be a new environment it's time for you to change up your routine all right seven of wands coming in here all right i feel like for many of you scorpios the blockages or the complications that happen come from those that you have to associate with it's like you maybe you've tried in the past to really be in that queen of wands journey uh scorpio but then you would always have to go back because someone else would need to be taken care of or like something else would need to be managing like it always feels as if there's like someone someone else's problem scorpio that you had to for some reason manage or do damage control with and you haven't been able to fully be that queen of wands then you have that knight of wands coming in xyling all right all this wands energy i love it all this passion here scorpio all right it's time for you to lead with your passion this is time for you to go solo here all right it's time for you like i feel like some of you guys might be debating on making decisions in your life right now where others might be like scorpio you are absolutely crazy yeah you are you know but that's what makes a scorpio a scorpio in the first place in my opinion anyways i don't know maybe i'm just biased because i have like six placements of scorpio in my chart <laughs> and i'm a libra scorpio cuss so let's get into some oracle messages for you scorpio number 55 all right, number 55 equaling to one in numerology, Scorpio. Write down the number one to see how that resonates with you. What messages that brings in numerology? The father gate, a bold step forward, darling. A bold step forward. Very fitting for you, I would say. I feel like for you, this is a time for you to be taking risks, you know? Time for you to be taking risks. It's time for you to be bold. It really kind of exudes uh, that knight of wands energy you're leaving the gates going wild like i don't know for some of you scorpios i feel like you're feeling like itching to move itching to change environments maybe you're itching to go on a road trip perhaps all right but i see movement i see travel i feel like right now you're doing yourself a disservice like i feel like if i'm gonna call it now scorpio if if the traveling bug hasn't bit you yet Oh, darling, it's gonna bite you, honey. And when it bites you, it's gonna, it's gonna burn. You know, I, I want to even say now, Scorpio, I say the number one, but now we have five popping up for you again, darling. All right, in this Oracle deck, body and soul. All right, body and soul with the bold step forward for you, Scorpio. This is really like that's I, I mean, this literally did like for one, let's acknowledge the five, the number five. All right, write down the number five. If anything, the five might align with you more. No, I'm gonna take that back. I feel like both num the number one and five are for you, Scorpio, because the number one is associated with the magician. All right, and I feel like y'all are really stepping into a magician's journey. All right, but I feel like that's there's been a part of you, Scorpio, that's been missing because like there's like there there's been like a lack of soul and like what it is that you're doing or because of your environment you haven't been able to be in touch with your soul and darling 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 last quarter moon in capricorn leaving the past behind can we acknowledge this scorpio let's like let's just take the let's just acknowledge this let's take a moment scorpio look at this you know just know i'm saying i told you so in my head and we'll move on we don't need to have a whole speech about it we're all adults here you understand the message loud and clear i'm sure and if you don't scorpio just check out the comments because and then say i don't get it Velka, because i'm sure one of the uh, us fellow scorpios will uh help you get it all right <laughs> so let's get into your predictions now uh scorpio what what you got going on here oh four swords with this three of pentacles and that seven of pentacles there all right i feel like for you right now scorpio you're stepping into a little bit of a hermit's journey all right i feel like you're stepping away from acquaintances in your life right now you're stepping away from stepping away from it all i feel like for many of you scorpios you've been having like this desire of like even like perhaps like changing your name changing your number deleting your social medias just disappearing for a while and i don't think that's necessarily a bad thing all right. I feel like for many of you guys, I feel like you're just you've been rooted for too long. I feel I don't know. I get like this sense of where y'all need to be more of like a free spirit. I don't know why, Scorpio, I'm like projecting this sense of like, I think y'all need to be more of a free spirit. And then there's like this one um, early 2000s uh, rap song 
um, <laughs> from T Real that is, is called Locked Down, darling. If you know the song Locked Down, then you know, darling. All right, I ain't gonna sing, I ain't gonna tell you that's gonna sing to you, honey, or rap to you, darling. All right, but look up Locked Down from T Real, and I feel like that's your story right now, Scorpio. All right, I feel like whether you want to admit it or not, there's been this place of where you are, you have been locked down due to your obligations to other people or obligations that you've set for yourself. Maybe some of you Scorpios have just been more so focusing in on just creating like a safe, stable environment for you for a while. But it's like, again, I feel like that travel bug's gonna get you, get you doll. It's gonna get ya. All right, Scorpio, that's the reading that I have for you this week. All right, darling. So hopefully this reading was helpful. Let me know in the comments below if it was. Give this video a like and subscribe. If you want to book a private reading with me, Scorpio, my website's linked down below, simplyvelka.com. Next to my social medias, TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook, all of them just being Simply Velka. All right, my beautiful darling. So I love you so much, Scorpio, and I'll connect with you at a later point in time. Bye, darling.